Hi, I'm Dr. Schultz and I teach history and liberal arts and government and some other things here at Bryan College. And I'm also the Title IX coordinator for the college. Title IX is sort of a shorthand for a whole bunch of federal laws that regulate how people are supposed to interact together. Title IX specifically, you probably know of mostly with regard to equal access for women to sports. It also includes a lot of other things, including discrimination based on race or national origin or sex or any other of those list of things that you would expect to have um, be included. And it includes um, discrimination, harassment, mistreatment generally, things like that. It also includes restrictions on violence against intimate partners, which is the legal language. It's something that we often think of more along the lines of dating violence or domestic violence, but it includes any person that you have a particularly close relationship or intimate relationship with. And this is also covered by Title IX. The discrimination under Title IX could um, include a variety of things. It could include, um, say, from a teacher accepting work um, but giving a lower grade because of race or because of gender. If you're just doing bad work, that doesn't count. But um, if you get bad, uh, worse grades for the same thing because of gender, then that's something like that. It can include harassment, people writing um, mean letters, mean texts, um, saying things, shouting things. It can mean if you hear something directed to you because of your um, race or gender or um, national origin, uh, it could be if you hear somebody else talking about a third party, that could count as well. Um, it could include things that we think of more normally as stalking, and it definitely includes anything like violence or threats. You can get in touch with, with me for a variety of ways. Um, so you can stop by my office in um, 236B in the History Liberal Arts Suite. Um, you can send me an email, and that's the way you can ask questions about Title IX, and I'm always happy to answer questions about Title IX and what it means because it's kind of a big and scary kind of a deal. Um, and that's also the way you'd make a report. If there's something that you think is a problem or that you know is a problem, I'm always happy to sit down and talk with you about you know, is this a Title IX problem? Is there somebody else who can help you more? Or to actually work through the process with you if it is a Title IX complaint. Um, presently, if with Title IX, it's very much governed by how the person who's bringing the complaint wants to deal with it. If you come in and just want to say, there's an issue that's come up, I think it's Title IX, I'm concerned about it, I think I've dealt with it, um, but I just want to let you know, that's fine. I can make a note to file, I don't investigate it, but it's there in case something comes up, you know, in the future and you want to deal with it. Sometimes people say, you know what, I just feel uncomfortable, you know, my roommate has said something, my roommate has a Confederate flag hanging in their room and it makes me uncomfortable. I'd just like a chance to talk with them in a safe way, then I'm happy to t do that in an informal way to help talk, um, things like that. So it can be very informal. If you want to bring an official complaint, then that involves talking with people and interviewing people. In all of those cases, I'll keep your name private. Although as you might understand in a school of this size, and if you're talking about a specific incident, it may not be uh, uh, anonymous as a practical matter. There are some cases in which there isn't anonymity, and those are specifically areas where um, there's an immediate threat of physical violence. So if you come to me and say, my boyfriend is coming from out of campus and says he's going to hurt me, then we have to get the campus security involved and potentially the police. Um, or if there is a um, concern that something has just happened and somebody may be causing problems elsewhere. So somebody has just attacked you in the hallway, we have to call the police or campus security. So with that caveat, it's anonymous to the extent that we can keep it anonymous. At Bryan College, I think it's particularly important that we take Title IX seriously, not because it's something that people are requiring us to do, 
but because we as Christians ought to see particularly the value of every human being, regardless of their race, their color, their national origin, their religion, or their gender, because we should know that every human being is made in God's image and deserves the respect and um, love that God requires of us. So I hope that Title IX is not something that we see as a restriction, but as a good reminder of what we owe to one another because God has made them in His image.